So what happens, and at a broad terms, what happens when the kidneys decide that they're not going to function as well? When they function, nobody knows that there's a pair of kidneys in our body. But when it doesn't function as well as it should, what happens? What is it that people present themselves with? What is it that they should be aware of that their kidney is not doing as well? There are two types of kidney failure. One is acute renal failure and one is chronic renal failure. And in, these are broad two terms. So acute is when there is an abrupt or sudden uh, stoppage of kidney functions, which can happen in short, suddenly following cardiac um, myocardial infarction, hypotension, septicemia, septic shock, or some uh, poisonous, some toxic substances or some drugs causing acute renal failure. Or sometimes some, there is a blockage of the blood supply, so renal artery blockage, some renal vein blockage, or sometimes a uh, out, outflow obstruction, and some stone is there which causes obstruction. So these, there is a sudden stoppage of kidney functions. This can be reversible also or irreversible also. So a proper diagnosis has to be made and depending on that, we have to manage the patients. Most of these diseases can recover actually. So in a way, acute kidney injury is reversible. Acute renal failure broadly is reversible except for few conditions. Now coming to chronic renal failure. So chronic is when there is a slow, insidious course of the disease and gradually and gradually the kidney functions uh, and, uh, is deteriorating and over a period of time, which may take few years actually, or even a decade the, before the patient goes into end stage renal disease or requires dialysis. So here we have to understand that there are two most important causes of chronic kidney disease or chronic renal failure. That is number one is diabetes, which is now throughout the world actually it has become number one cause followed by hypertension, followed by the kidney disease itself, like nephritis or glomerular diseases. Then we have, we have polycystic kidney disease, hereditary diseases, and in our country, renal calculus disease or stone formation, then urinary tract infections, then various drugs in, and toxins causing and like painkillers causing damage to the kidneys, infections in the urinary tract, so for every general population, it is very important to understand that when the kidney disease patient becomes symptomatic, he has already suffered almost 70 to 80% of the kidney damage.